Any chance of seeing it? Very tight. So, time for another movie review, and this one is a crime film, a film noir B movie, second feature from 1948, starring Lawrence Cherney, the classical Hollywood um, tough guy and real life tough guy, <laughs> bar brawler, and um, I think he was even accused of murder at one stage. It also co stars Priscilla Lane in her last feature film, her last starring role, and this film was directed by Richard Fleischer, so there's a lot of quality in this film. So this is a really good little crime B movie, um, really fast flowing, really solid performances and uh, a good script. And basically the plot has Lawrence Tierney, who is this LAPD detective, he's kind of a wise talking kind of tough guy who punches his lieutenant's lights out and gets uh, resigns, has to leave his job for cutting corners, I guess, or just being a bit of a fly by his pants cop. But he's not out of work for long because he gets hired by this uh, meat packing family, this uh, big wealthy family who run this business. And um, one of the members of the family who hires him as a bodyguard for his mother because he thinks she's uh, under threat for her life for some reason. So after he reluctantly takes on the job, um, even though they've been shoving two grand in his pocket to make him take the job, which uh, raises his suspicions and he smells a rat. And well, he may do because uh, he's soon over his head in conspiracy and he set up as a patsy for a murder charge. Whoever did it for any good. Made it look as though I killed him or was on my way to dump him when... But why? I don't understand. Neither do I yet. One thing I know, somebody murdered him and I'm going to find out who did it. But he's helped by uh, Priscilla Lane, who uh, happens to be his, his girlfriend, and she happens to work in the homicide department uh, where he was uh, a cop. So uh, she helps him to investigate this crime and... So Bodyguard was a really solid um, little B-movie crime film, uh, way better than I expected it to be. Lawrence Tierney was great as, as a leading man. He reminded me of Charles McGraw, um, that super tough guy Charles McGraw, but not quite with that kind of aggression and gravelly kind of uh, persona. He was still really good though, really sort of square-jawed and um, kind of tough guy in the, in the role. And Priscilla Lane was great as his sidekick, his, his fiance, who was helping him. Uh, the film moves at a cracking pace and it's got plenty of kind of um, incident in it and some good, really good characters, secondary characters. And it's never really clear. I mean, the bad guy is kind of, st the bad guy does kind of stand out. You kind of guess who the bad guy is, but hey, that's no big deal. I mean, it's really well done, this film. It's only 60 odd minutes long, but it's, it's, it really packs a lot of punch and uh, action into that kind of time frame. Some really tense kind of uh, moments towards the end as well. My minor complaint was they really do set up a really great finale where with a buzzsaw, but then they chicken out and they don't use that scene. <laughs> it's really well set up to do it, and they do set up to do it, but they kind of pull away at the last minute and they, they go somewhere else. But that was a bit of a disappointment. But So in the end, uh, Bodyguard was a really top-notch little B-movie. Um, it's... This is a, kind of a blueprint of how you should make a, a crime film noir B movie. It's got everything right. Great performances, good dialogue, good story, good action, entertaining, fast paced. It's a, a little gem, this film. Go out and check it out. You won't be disappointed. So that's Bodyguard from 1948.